The German U-boat lay hidden in the bay by the lighthouse where it waited, lurking, unseen, ready to spring its trap on the approaching Allied ships. I had no idea how to stop it or its deadly payload, but I knew I had to try. I'm waiting for my demise. Yeah, just as expected. It's really hard, like the scores are hard to get. The only things that I can do is like it takes so much time to do. I need two stars, right? Uh, give me half an hour. It literally takes like that. You know what's sad? As much as I enjoy the game, the star system and just unlocking the further levels is so downgrading the whole gameplay. Like, I don't know who thought of that idea, but towards the last levels, just getting those stars almost seems like impossible and it takes so much unnecessary time to just repeat the missions that you already done. Like, at this point, I feel frustrated and I hope Lighthouse is gonna be the actual last stage of the storyline, which is just sad how the dynamic works, but let's just... Go. With the German U-boat hidden in the bay, awaiting the arrival of the Allied fleet, everything we had fought for was in danger of being lost. Unless I could find a way to destroy that submarine. I don't think I changed the... no, okay. Flak cannons inside of the base would make any full-scale assault of the island impossible. To take them out, I would have to enter the lion's den and then find a way to destroy that U-boat. It's not like we've not done that so far, so... Not so fast, sniper! I've got a bullet with your name on it! Wait, what? The Germans had me surrounded and vastly outnumbered. But when a man fights for their home, their freedom, even against impossible odds, there is always hope. It feels like the last stage. Just the atmosphere of it. Okay, it's not my specialty with this sniper rifle. I was just doing this for the stars, so... Maybe it's not gonna be that bad. It's very accurate, so... Fuck, I'm not even... <laughs> behind the cover, I'm just shooting from... This place. I should go hide, but... Apparently crouching is OP. <laughs> so I'm fine. They're sneaky because they have the high ground, but... I'm a pro sniper at this point in the game. So what way do we go? Oh. They don't see me. Because that's just how the game works. Oh, hello. What were you searching for? become the embodiment of death. Each bullet another revenge for the deaths of those I loved. What the? For the thousands of partisans, villagers, families buried in mass graves. This seems like the party is starting early. <laughs> the twitching. So I have to eliminate those cannons.
time it. <laughs> one down, one to go. Wow, math. What the hell is that? This instant crouching bullshit. Just stand up, yes, thank you. Oh my god. What, he doesn't see me? Through what? Through the safe, that would be convenient. Where are you going? I noticed when you shoot them and there's a kill cam, your bullet actually hits like the wall or whatever behind, even though it didn't reach still. Which is interesting. Interesting can mean two things. Saving. Oh, I can't. No, die, please. Thank you. were destroyed. Next, I would have to find a way onto the beach. Let's go to the beach, beach. Oh my god, elite soldiers. That's gonna be annoying. See, because they don't die from one bullet. Sometimes even through the headshots. Oh! What the hell? Oh nice, permanent vignette. Oh, this game is so buggy. No more. They respond. Whatever. At least they are nice and they're tanky one shot. Ah, we have to go down. Keys. And how? Oh my god. What's 
happening there? Oh, outside. <laughs> it's so far away. It's gonna be like the longest shot in the game. I mean, I should go Plumes closer. Plumes of but... steam rose from the horizon, oh, what signaling the? the Allied fleet's arrival. It was clear they knew nothing of the U-boat that lay in wait for them. Okay, I'm safe. <laughs> Can I kill this boat? Turn around, bitch. There's no mercy for you. Damn, this is gonna be hard. <laughs> Guess let's just go to the business in this way. You can come out here. Oh. <laughs> he can shoot me, but I can't. Card. Yes. No way. Oh my god. The best shot in the game. That is a sniper elite. What the hell? <laughs> Wi-Fi issues. Oculus is just impossible at this point. I swear if I would die now. What the fuck is shooting me now? <laughs> just shooting from miles away. I'm gonna get you. Just turn. I have to move. I can do it, it's just that I have to get closer. That's the whole philosophy. It's moving too fast. Got him! One gunner is down. This is not gonna annoy me. Yes, I know game. I mean, it's an overkill, but sure.
Grant me this. I can't operate it now. It seems like a finish line. Fucking elite horses. No, 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 you won't fuck me up now. Oh no! And I'm all the way here. I wanna die. I think someone survived the explosion, honestly. What the hell? Please, we're done. The lighthouse towered over me. I felt very small. I knew then I would either return a hero or not return at all. Oh, I have to like that. I'm expecting an ambush. Thanks for the skip. Jesus, so wonky. Nice view. Please, no surprises. One bullet. One bullet can change the course of a war. Fucking pistol. Give me this sniper rifle. Let me take a shot. Oh, come on. What the fuck happened? Whatever. I tried to be fancy, but the game clearly hates me. It would be the last bullet I ever fired. I hope. <laughs> Why did we fight? We fought so they would not have to. So they would never have to live through the horrors we faced. Now, as my life reaches its end too, I leave my story in the hope that it endures in them. For the honor of those who fought and fell. So that we may always be grateful for what we have so that we may never forget. Oh, a little history. If you wanna read, then read. <laughs> but it's like it's just the history, how the Second World War ended and stuff like that with Italy on the side. Finally, you're done. Yeah, I'll see. The playthrough was rough, but like from the gameplay wise, this game has so many bad things happening at the same time. Like it's crazy to think that people say that it's like a perfect game or perfect shooter or the best shooter, which is not at all. I mean, the games just feels awkward. They misposition, reloading sometimes is wonky. The dynamic between switching the gun and the sniper is too slow and too inconvenient like why do we have a pistol on our chest and even so the holsters are misplaced on over the body you can like modify it of course but they jump when they move so no matter the setting you will use the holsters will be always like just haphazard honestly story wise i don't think i've paid much attention i did follow that we were betrayed by mateo or whatever and then the shit went down and we went for vengeance and then we went for the germans and stuff like that 
It was not like in your face, but it was nice to have a narration alongside the game. It's like it had its purpose to go further. The graphics are alright, I guess. It's not like Medal of Honor graphics where it's like high-end quality, but at the same time, the Quest 2 port is like amazingly done comparing to the PC VR version because the difference is not that huge. Maybe like in the lightning and shadows, stuff like that, but overall the textures were pretty much saved on the standalone, which is fit by itself. I'm not sure what this game like needs. You can't really change the gameplay in this game because it's like so deep into the mechanics that you change one thing and the whole thing is off. But yeah, that was the last mission and I'm happy because as much as I enjoyed myself, it's just rough in terms of collecting the stars to progress on the later levels. Like I would spend literally half an hour between the missions to collect stars just to progress further. I don't know who thought of that design, but if you want like a cohesive gameplay with a story, that is not a way to do it. Blocking like the content further, but just challenges. Like no one cares about challenges when the game is like focused on history and stuff like that. It's not an arcade. Also, it's very long if we're talking about the quest overall. You can spend loads of time here. Even though some missions repeat, you start like from the different objective or different position on the map. But I only saw like this last drop map repeat three times and the trail one was two times. The rest seemed just one time. If not, then it was not apparent to me at first that I'm in the same place again. Collectibles I didn't care for. They do literally nothing. They don't tell you a story. It has like no use. Basically just numbers in your diary. The variety of loadouts is fun as well. Like different snipers and stuff like that. They really do make a difference because it's up for the preference and how you want to play. Different scopes and different kind of like stabilization really make a difference. I didn't even realize that there are leaderboards. <laughs> we play on normal and it's just like the authentic is impossible. I don't know how people could play this. Did even some people finish the last stage? Let me see. So I'm four on normal. Authentic. Only one person finish it. Which is like a god probably in shooters. Like accuracy 20. Literally it's impossible. But yeah. The last stage I'm like on the leaderboards. I wonder if on other as well. Yeah. Seems like I'm constantly in top 10. Nice. I have my peace with this game and I'm not going back unless there's gonna be like co-op or whatever. Like I don't think this game is gonna be like you know updated constantly just like in other projects because it's just hard. It's the same syndrome as Metal Honor. It's just hard to introduce stuff like that. I don't think multiplayer would would work here either so we'll see for now that's done i'm happy that's done and life moves on <laughs>